was pleased. <laughs> All right, so this could this could be a complete disaster. Um, <laughs> Uh, I'm supposed to be the salvation of the world, but um, given given how the world has gone so far, um, it's been a disaster so far, so the salvation could go equally as disastrously, and that would really just be fitting and just, you know, in sequence with how the world has gone so far. So, um, I mean, why would we expect any differently? Um, so yeah, uh, I, I am uh, Saturn. Uh, Yes, uh, Saturn. I'm supposed to do the gesture. Yes, Saturn. <laughs> it's the imperial gesture. Um, I just imagine that the people are saluting me, and I, I receive their salutes. Um, so yes, uh, and I'm declaring myself uh, Emperor of the Solar System, and that will take effect on January 20th. Um, yes, I'm uh, Yes, thank you, thank you. Yes, um, and I think uh, you you may actually care about that a little more because that means that my uh, jurisdiction will override and supersede that of Donald Trump. That's his inauguration day. Which means that I will um, actually override him and he will actually never actually be acting president because, um, you know, basically the joke is, uh, you know, uh, you know, you either pick me as dictator or Trump as president, you know, choose the lesser evil. So, um, yeah. Um, so uh, I'm for a revolutionary dictatorship to go back to monarchy to impose direct democracy. Um, <laughs> all right. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, um, this, this all did happen somehow. There was an election. There is legitimacy to this maneuver. You may be wondering, how, how do I become emperor? Uh, solar emperor. Uh, a solar system is a new unit, a uh, solar empire. This is a very special day. This is winter solstice. So uh, today is my death and rebirth as the sun, as the human embodiment of the sun on Earth. Um, which is part of why this performance may go completely epically wrong because I literally am like dying on stage right now. Um, <laughs> but uh, I applaud you, Saturn. Well, thank you so much. Um, I deserve your applause. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we were talking about. Oh yes, uh, there was an election. There was an election. It was the same day as your uh, bourgeois mortal human election. Um, yeah. Uh, what the pr presidency? Yes. Um, uh, what was it? November 8th, I believe, and uh, yes, so uh, there was an election, votes were counted. Um, some of you may have heard this before. Uh, votes were counted, and uh, only one vote was counted, uh, my own, because that's the only vote that matters. Um, and uh, so I didn't actually bother to write out a paper ballot. Uh, I just did it in my head. I just <laughs> voted for myself in my head. Um, so we, you know, I thought that would be okay. I thought it was a pretty, you know, cut and dried matter. Uh, but we took this to the uh, Solar Board of Elections, and uh, they said, you know, that this, this was a problem, that there might be some confusion about, you know, which, which me might have voted for, uh, uh, you know, might have voted, and, and which, which me may they have voted for, because, all right, not only am I a God incarnated in human form, but I am also God, God, period. Um, which makes things confusing because as an omnipresent being, I'm also many people at once. And um, I'm sorry, I know that's a lot to handle, but it makes the story interesting at least. Um, so yeah, so it turns out that it, this actually was a problem in the election because, um, it, it was a problem in the election because as it turned out, um, the Solar Board of Elections found that there was a discrepancy um, when they looked into it, there was, um, there was the, they, they found that they, were, they couldn't tell if they uh, if I had voted for the um, the me who was or the me who is to become. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that, so so they had to throw that election out. They did a recount. So the one election it was the me who was, and the one election the me who is to become one, and, the, and that's the election it went with the me who is to become. But um, so then then it went to the uh, solar uh, the solar electoral college. <laughs> And, um, you know, everyone thought that that was just going to be, you know, uh, a formality. But it turns out that there were faithless electors at the Solar Electoral College, which also consisted of, of solely just of me. Um, and uh, it turns out I ended up being a faithless elector at the Solar Electoral College. And instead of uh, voting for the me who is to become, I simply voted for the me that is. And I have to say that uh, this was really important to me. 
that uh, this meant a lot to me uh, because this was a huge just like vote of confidence because it's one thing to say that you know when you're voting for the me who is to become it's like okay you're supporting what you're gonna do but like when you vote for the me who is it's saying like you believe in who you are now and you know that that just that was yeah that, that, that really that really meant a lot to me that I just believed in myself that much that, that, that just that just just meant a lot to me. So you may be wondering, you know, okay, I may believe I'm God, and you know, the voices in my head are very united on this, and you know, I, I have my own legitimacy, but but what am I gonna do for you, right? What am I gonna do for the people as dictator? What am I gonna do for you? So, uh, you know, there are some points in my imperial plan, my imperial plan. The first point, of course, is redistributive genocide against the wealthy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll hang the bankers from the street lamps. We'll crucify Wall Street. Yes, yes. We'll drink their blood. Yes. All right. Okay. Uh, we will. We will legalize cruel and unusual punishment against public officials. Yes. Yes. We will continue parking in the middle of Broad Street for a thousand years. Yes. Yes. Continue littering garbage on the sidewalks of Philadelphia for a thousand years! Yes! Yes! We will nationalize Comcast. We the workers of Comcast will seize Comcast and turn it into a public utility for the collective good. Yes! 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 Uh, there was some other stuff. Oh, yes! We will institute a state religion. A state religion where psychedelics will be Holy Communion mandatory every morning. Yes! Yes! There will be mandatory public spectacles of crowd participatory sexual licentiousness every month. Yes! Yes! Am I missing anything? Sean, tell me, am I missing What are you going to do about the PPA? Oh, the PPA! Day one of my imperial reign, we will set the Philadelphia Parking Authority on fire! Yes! 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 Yes, yes it will be a good solar empire. Yes. Hmm? Free zebras for everyone? Free, free zebras. How are we going to pay for the free zebras? <laughs> you can't Use the money for the PPA! You can't pay for them for free. But I have to give uh, Vermin Supreme credit for that line. <laughs> I, may, I may actually be like opening for Vermin Supreme coming up soon. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so, um, you know, some politicians, some politicians have large egos, you may have heard. Uh, they want to build a big wall. Okay, well, you know, that, that, their egos are not fucking big enough as far as I'm concerned. You know, oh, build a wall. What, what does a wall do? A wall is a large You paint on walls! Huh? Paint on the wall. You paint on the wall. You can paint on a wall. That's one thing you can do with a wall. A wall. A wall divides a nation from, you know, other nations. Well, well, I want to like connect our planet to the rest of the universe. I want to build a space elevator. That's, that's how big my ego is. I want to build a space elevator. And you need a really big ladder. That's yeah. You, you need a ladder. You need a, like maybe an orbital ring. You need a lot of things. So so like you get. I need like I need a lot of funding for this. Like and it's gonna cost. I'm gonna basically pay for this with like all of your money. Um, and, and emperors are expensive. Don't say I didn't warn you. So um, I'm gonna. But I'm gonna. I'm gonna politically fuel this the same way that Trump fueled the wall. I'm going to you know politically build support for the space elevator with racism. Yes. I'm going to get the space elevator built with racism. I'm going to say, we're going to build the space elevator and send all the Mexicans who come across the border to Mars. <laughs> send them to Mars. Send them to Mars. You know, they took a job, send them to Mars. That'll, that'll be the line. And so we, I will fool the racists into supporting my space elevator. And little do they know that they are actually setting themselves up. Because they're going to go to Mars in their cowboy boots ready to explore the new frontier. And they're going to be like, why are all the signs on Mars in Spanish? <laughs> and like, we totally just set up like a future of humanity to be like dominated by brown people. Little did they know. And I'll be like, well, it all goes, yeah, it all goes back to when you like supported my space elevator. <laughs> I got you guys. Yeah, so we totally got them. And that's really what it's all about. You know, I just give like all of like, you know, the, the, the Nazis something to give like a Hitler salute to. Meanwhile, you know, implementing like libertarian socialist policies. And they get to like jerk off to, you know, their dictator and 
you know, we all get, you know, European social democracy and, you know, and you know, free drugs and, you know, we get to do what we want, you know, this is, this is the idea of the solar empire. It's, it's a good plan, it's a good, it's a good thing, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. You know, there we go. I don't know, uh, I feel like, I feel like, uh, do, do we have questions from, from my citizens? <laughs> Yo, what weed are you smoking, my nigga? Oh, I'm on LSD right now. Yeah. How am I gonna make the solar system great again? Okay. Well, okay. Uh, the principles of the solar empire: uh, glory, risk, and confrontation. Uh, what connection? Uh, what was that? Coexistence and communication. Uh, well, there was another one. Uh, coherence. Co co coherence. Uh, co coherence. Systematization and conception. And of course, uh, galaxy-spanning tardies that bring the fabric of space-time. Cosmic cataclysmic celebration. That is how we will make this whole system. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Had an answer. Had an answer. How we doing on time? Okay, we're gonna wrap it up. <laughs> yeah? Well, you can't vote for me. I'm taking fucking power. Fuck you. Okay. Um, and to and you know, just the thing I like to end in is that the barrier between like reality and the joke gets pretty blurry. So uh, it's been good. Uh, hail Saturn! Hail the Sun! Long live the Solar Empire! And can we conclude on a kill the rich? Kill